Hello and welcome to the Smart Mix Calculator, green cover seeds tool for helping you build the smartest cover crop mix possible. My name is Keith Burns and I am the developer of the Smart Mix Calculator and I just wanted to take a few moments and walk you through some tutorial videos to help you get the most out of this newest version. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Smart Mix Calculator, our theory behind Smart Mix is that the smartest mix of cover crops for your field is the one that you can custom design for your needs. And that's the premise behind this calculator. You choose your goals and we help you select the cover crops that meet the goals and we can even custom mix it just for you. The Smart Mix Calculator is very unique within the industry as it has immediate feedback on price and goal fulfillment along with a suite of mix attributes it's powerful, it's instructional, it's interactive, and it's visual. And Smart Mix can help you make the smartest mix for your fields. Just a few things that are different in this version, version 5, than what uh, you may be familiar with in the past. One of the biggest differences is the ability to edit your past mixes. We'll look at that in, uh, in a little bit later. Uh, but the editing and the, the species selection portion of this is going to be far easier as well. So we're just going to start by uh, clicking on the button that says Start a Mix. And once we do that, it's going to bring up our uh, initial starting page. And with Smart Mix Calculator, you have to establish an account. Uh, the account is free. It doesn't cost anything. You, you are not committed to buying seed from Green Cover Seed. Anyone can use this around the world. Uh, there's no commitments. Uh, but you do need to create an account because that account is going to know a little bit about your geography. So when I logged in, uh, it knows that I live in Bladen, Nebraska. So it says, hello, Bladen, Nebraska. Based on your zip code of 68928, the average annual rainfall is 26.73 inches. For, for my area, the first frost is around October 3rd, the last frost is around April 30th, and the plant hardiness zone is 5B. So it's going to know all this information for all 45,000 plus zip codes across the United States. And you can change that. It defaults to, to the location that you put in when you register, but I'm just going to go down here and uh, I will change this to a neighboring town, 68901. So now it says, hello, Hastings, Nebraska. And uh, it knows that I'm in a different location. I want to develop a mix for a different location. So you can change that zip code to whatever you would like, but it's going to default to what you put in when you create your account. Uh, when you develop a mix, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is name this mix. So we're going to just call this sample mix for summer grazing. You can tell it how many acres you want to plant. We'll just be very simple and do 100 acres. You can always change that at any time. Uh, one of the new features on this is irrigated, uh, applied irrigation. So if you have an irrigated field, you can uh, tell it the system how many inches of water you're going to use. So if I was going to have this under a pivot, we may say, well, we're going to put on six inches of water. Now most of you don't have that, but this you can still use this field. Uh, one of the, the unique things about this is that if I think that I'm going to be planting my cover crop into a drier period than normal, I can actually choose a negative irrigation amount here. So we can make this be uh, negative 4. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually tell the program that I'm going to be drier than normal, so it's going to adjust my seeding rates. And I'll show you that later on. For right now, I'm just going to leave that blank that I'm not going to irrigate. You can choose your bagging option, 50-pound bags, tote bags, or getting the seed in bulk. Your seeding method, whether it's drilled, broadcast, or broadcast with incorporation. And that's basically going to uh, help set the seeding rates that the program recommends for the species that you select. So we're going to drill this. We select our next cash crop because one of the important things with doing a cover crop is we don't want to harm our next cash crop. So I'm going to select grain sorghum here as my next cash crop, but there's, there's a number of different ones in here. And uh, we're looking at adding additional ones down the road, but right now we have most of the, most of the popular uh, rotational crops. Uh, but if you don't see what you need on there, you can just choose other. And then the seeding date is important as well because what this program is going to be doing is it's going to recommend or at least score the different cover crop species that you have available to you uh, based on your next cash crop, based on your seeding date, 
based on your goals and based on your geography. So it defaults to today's date, uh, May 30th. I'm going to be doing a mix uh, that I'm going to plant after we harvest wheat. So I'm going to tell this program that we're going to seed this on July 17th. It automatically just jumps forward 60 days for the termination date, uh, but you do not have to leave it there. We are going to tell it that we're going to basically let this grow until November 20th. Now, even though this says it's 126 days, the program is smart enough that anything that's a warm season crop, it knows from your average first frost date, it's going to terminate that crop and it's going to stop counting any benefits that may accrue from warm season crops when it freezes. The cool season crops will continue to grow. So the program knows that we've got 126 days of growing season. Uh, we've got 1,754 base 50 growing degree days which is what is used to calculate warm season crop growth. And it's got 2,822 base 40 growing degree days, which is what is used to calculate cool season crops as they grow. And then one other very important step before we finish up this first portion of the Smart Mix calculator is you must select your goals. You should never ever buy cover crop seed without knowing what your goals are. And if you ever call someone up and ask uh, to buy cover crop seed and, and they don't ask you what your goals are, uh, you should keep looking for another place to purchase seed from because the goals are very, very important. So within the Smart Mix calculator, you can have up to three goals. You can have what's called your highest priority, your high priority, and just your priority. And the highest priority is always going to get the most weight when it comes to scoring the different species as to what's most appropriate for you want. The high priority is kind of a medium weight, and the priority is a lower weight, but it still is important. So when we click on uh, what goals do we want, there's a whole number of different goals here. And uh, I'm just going to choose supplemental grazing because we want to uh, be able to turn some cattle out on this. I also want to provide some lasting residue. And then my last goal here is going to be compaction breaking. That's going to be important for us as well. And again, I can come back and change these goals at any time that I want. Uh, but those are the goals that I'm going to choose for this mix. The goals are important because the program is going to tell you how well you've selected the species that you want to use to accomplish your goals. So when you get all done with this first screen, you just simply click the continue button and it's going to take you to step number two.